Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be updating the firmware in my ISDG um, mini charger and uh, I discovered that I'm on an older version of the firmware here. I think the newest one's like 2.03.73 for the SC608 and um, there's an unusual jack here for the firmware update. It's not a USB port. You have to use one of these audio cables here or headphone jack Let's see if I can get that to focus there we go and they actually sell the uh, firmware updater it comes with a jack with like a USB dongle that's like seven bucks but you don't you don't need to uh, buy that if you don't want to you, you can just uh, if you have a an old set of headphones like I had here uh, these are the ones with the uh, microphone that's why I, they're called a four pole jack so you see there's there's four sections there and uh, I happen to have one that I wasn't using and I I took the uh, jacket off here and after I did that this is what was left um, now I didn't get this idea on my own I, I, I saw an article from Oscar Lying who uh, did a review on this charger and uh, he did a firmware update with this method as well he had, I'll put a link to his article in the description, but his headphone jack is different from mine. So if you follow my video, you might get confused if you look at his article because the outputs are different on this end. It kind of depends on the manufacturer of the uh, headphone jack. Um, basically, you only need to worry about uh, three connections. The outside one here, which is the ground, and I actually how to use a multimeter to figure out which ones they connect to using a, a, a conductivity test. So the ground here connects to that ground there on the outside and then this second to outside one is not being used. I believe this uh, this one here is the transmit and that corresponds to this one over here and this is the receive and that corresponds to this one over here on this side and you can see that there's some enameled wire that is uh, soldered onto those connections and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up these uh, servo leads to the headphone jack and then we're going to use a uh, FTDI adapter to do the uh, firmware update. This lets you connect the uh, the charger to the computer to do the uh, firmware update. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'll uh, solder on my wires here and then I'll uh, come back and show you what I did. Okay guys, so I got my wires connected to the appropriate places and you need to check for conductivity using a multimeter. And so you just touch these. So that's the receive and this one's transmit. And here's the ground. Okay, so now we want to connect this to our FTDI adapter. And let's see here. So the green is receive on the uh, headphone jack. And so we want to connect that to the transmit on the FTDI adapter. So the, the receive is on the right and the transmit's on the left. So we have the uh, green, which is the receive from the headphone jack, is going to go to the transmit on the FTDI adapter, and the receive is going to the transmit over here. And then we're just going to connect the ground over here, like so. And if I wanted to be all fancy, I could probably hot glue this and wrap it in heat shrink. Probably do that later if I want to use this again. And then, uh, can just plug it in here like so there you go so I'm gonna go to the computer and uh, I'll bring up the uh, computer on the screen here for the next part of the video so at this point you want to um, launch the SCU program on the computer I'll uh, put a link to the uh, file in the description and you have to unzip it you run it okay so here it is and at this point you want to plug in your USB cable to the FTDI adapter. 
And once you get that plugged in, you want to plug in your uh, headphone jack into the charger. Make sure it's not powered on yet. Okay, so we should be at this point. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my battery. And then on the computer, you just hit update now. And there it goes. And this is what you should see on the screen. Okay, so it says update success. Looks like it worked and the charger is rebooted. Let's see what we've got here. And there we go, we're on 2.0.3.76, which is the uh, latest version. So, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, if you have a, one of these headphone jacks with a microphone, uh, it's a, called a four pole jack, then uh, it's easy to make one of these. You just need also this, this as well, which I happen to have, which is a FTDI adapter. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. If, you're, if you have this already, then, uh, um, Making this is going to be pretty easy and saves you seven bucks. Anyway, you guys, hope uh, this helps these guys out. I mean, if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later.